Hello, Cancer. Elsie here to give you a reading for the next couple of weeks. So um, Valentine's Day is coming up. And for those of you who are celebrating the Hallmark holiday, I thought I would give you a little more energy to get you through that. See what's going to lead you up to that, right? And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just pulling some Lover's Oracle. We're going to start with that. Let's find out what's going on for you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's going on leading up to Valentine's Day? February 14th. Yeah, it is a Hallmark holiday. But you know, sometimes, yeah, the love energies do get a little intense. People get expectations. Careful for your expectations, y'all. Be careful. Yeah, you don't want to be let down from a rule that you set on someone else in your own head. All right. We've got one more card. There we go. Let's start with this. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. I really believe that. I really believe that love is the greatest healer, Cancer. I do. Um, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So that is not only for singles, but that is for people who are in a relationship as well. You're not getting anywhere by criticizing the person that you are in this relationship with. And they are getting nowhere with you by doing the same. Yeah, I feel like there is somebody that I'm connecting with who really is not having an easy time in, in your relationship here, Cancer. Or maybe you're too critical. Yeah, it could very mean that you're too critical. And because you're critical of other people, you understand when you judge others, you're judging yourself. So the things that you're judging others about, you actually feel about yourself. And that could be this. Criticizing others, being critical. And then we have... You may not always understand why certain things happen, Cancer. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Through turmoil. Right. Somebody, unfortunately, is in turmoil. All right. And let's go. Y'all know I can't do one of these kinds of reads without... Without Denise Lynn, for sure not. All right. Let's take a look here. Sacred Destiny, Denise Lynn. Got some more cards for you here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's for you, Cancer. Freedom. Solitude. And wonders. There we go. Security. Interesting. Okay. Then we're going to use the, what do they call them? The Divine Goddess Oracle. Lovely, lovely deck. One of those purchases I'm really glad I made. All right. Embrace, deception. Interesting. And balance. What have we got in the bottom? should always look. Energy activation. It says connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. Interesting. All right. So <clears throat> what have we got going on here? Well, we've got playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So I feel like this could be directed at someone who's having a rocky time in their relationship and intends on repairing it. I'm not talking about those of you who do not do not intend on repairing it. Some of you are just quite literally going to be free. You're just going to embrace the freedom. Um, but some of you embracing the freedom will be getting in touch with your own playfulness. So Cancer, you might be too serious. I know that's not a news flash for you, but you might be a little too serious and a little too intense. I feel like you need to give yourself the freedom to do the things that make you happy. Yeah, I think you need to, first of all, embrace where you are. It's always good to embrace where you are at this moment in time, because when you accept the situation as it is, you can only then move on. 
if you're going to keep wishing the situation was different, you're going to be stuck and you're not going to have the freedom. Yeah, I feel like um, in the solitude that you understand that criticizing another only leads to you criticizing yourself or maybe you are in that deception. You know, because there are people who aren't going to wake up, y'all. I mean, there are some cancers out there who just aren't going to wake up. They think they are complete how they are and they're not willing to learn any other way of life. And I think they're fooling themselves. In the solitude, I feel you, Cancer, feel maybe like you're not enough. I feel as though you can transform this energy of yours. But until then, I don't feel like there is going to be anything huge coming into your life except solitude. If you keep if you keep living in a false illusion of you're already everything and you're unwilling to learn from anyone or anything, then you're done. When you stop learning, the tower comes in and pushes you out. If you stay in the tower, you're done in this life. If you get out of the tower, you learn the lesson and you keep going. You really need to get out of this energy. Yeah. Scarcity mentality. You're falling into bad habits. And uh, you might be falling into bad habits of people around you, and that might look like people distancing themselves from you. What do we got here? Playfulness. We've got the fool in reverse. Well, it says here, uh, play playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So I feel like if you are in a relationship that you might be just trying to breathe love back, love and, and playfulness back into this relationship, I feel like you're ready to do whatever you have to do in order to make laughter the best part of this relationship. I feel as if you don't, if you are someone who is already in a relationship, I feel that if you continue being serious and no fun, I feel like somebody just wants to have freedom. They want you to embrace your own freedom and they want to go. But I feel like you really need to be willing, <clears throat> pardon me, you need, really need to be willing to speak up. And yeah, love is the great healer. It is. And you can find love while you're being playful because they're kind of the same. They're kind of, kind of synonyms to me, playfulness and love. All right, so somebody here feels as though Mercury retrograde has got them. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like you think Mercury ret retrograde has got a hold on you. I think you do want a, a chance again with somebody. Oops. Yeah, I think that you are going in for second, third time around. The un universe is saying, look, <clears throat> if you want to go towards somebody, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to deal with your judgment. And the fact of the matter is that some of you right now are really in a deep deception of who you are and how you're treating other people. And this gen this this judgment comes along as a blessing for you. So I hope you don't ignore it. For those of you who are having a really hard time getting out of your deception and you're in solitude away from people so they won't tell you that you're acting wrong or saying wrong things or blowing up Uncle blowing up at Uncle Floyd for no reason. If you want to know who Uncle Floyd is, please go see volume four of the Lightworkers Chronicle. All right. Toxicity. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right. Turmoil. Toxic turmoil. I think there might be some sort of a meeting that is going to bring two people together that don't normally get along. It is a rather toxic connection. I feel like this is over and over and over again. Yeah, the judgment tells me that you guys have tried this over and over again, but really what ends up happening is you end up being really critical of each other. Yeah, you don't look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, what am I going to fix? You look at them and say, you, you, you. Yeah, it's always got to start with I whenever it comes to the fixing. Yeah. Oops. I'll do this right here. Justice. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. For some of you, the turmoil is going to be legal. 
for some of you, the turmoil is going to be someone who is super toxic that reveals themselves to you as the toxic human that they are. This person either has a really bad addiction, could be sex addiction, could be... Um, They have a closet full of stuff they're hoarding. Yeah, there is some sort of a toxic behavior here, and it has to be looked at. Because I, I feel like if, if it's not looked at, it could cause a legal issue. Yeah, what have we got here? The Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody is not really holding on to their emotions very well right now. Yeah. Okay, Cancer, let's do a little more clarifying here. We have playfulness. We have freedom and embrace. Find peace with your current state of being. So I feel like in the next couple of weeks, I feel like maybe you let yourself free from an ideal or an idea or a relationship um, that you, you gain freedom from maybe feeling imprisoned because this leap of faith is like, I'm just taking the leap of faith. I'm just going with it because I can't deal with... with um, being in this energy of anxiety anymore because i do see the the fool in the reverse is a bit of anxiety and really kind of the judgment is too because you are taking yourself on a path towards something and you don't know what the outcome is going to be here we have the page of cups in the reverse yeah sorry not sorry i, I feel like you like to be playful i feel as though relationship is not for you i feel like playfulness at a distance Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Page of Cups in the reverse. And there's no inner love here. You don't love yourself enough. And that's why you keep t tossing yourself off the ledge here in the uh, Fool in reverse because you don't have self-love. I'm telling you that w that is what is going to give you freedom. But I feel as though also you're going to look at some sort of a significant relationship and say, sorry, not sorry, I need freedom from this. And then you're just going to find peace with it because you have been sort of um, going back and forth and back and forth in a relationship. You could have kids and it could be the reason that you're going back and forth. But I feel like that there is somebody in your midst cancer that's saying, I don't really care. Sorry, not sorry. Maybe that's you. Um, and you just want your freedom from a situation that used to be happy. Maybe you have kids with this person. I feel like you feel that if you embrace um, uh, what is going on, that you will find peace. I feel that's true because the sun card is here. And that there is going to be happiness in the freedom. Um, I feel like for those of you who are letting yourself uh, be cut free from some sort of a, an obligation, whether that's a job or taking care of someone or being in a relationship you didn't want to be in, or maybe you met somebody at the bar and you now you, you just wish you didn't set this, uh, exchange numbers with them, that kind of thing, you know. But I feel like whatever decision you make to find peace is going to be the right one. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Criticizing another will only lead to further unhappiness. Yeah, I think in the solitude you realize, Cancer, that you can no longer be the Lone Ranger. You gotta stop being so defensive with people. Yeah. And I think your defensive comes out in in ways that you treat people, like the words that you use, you're kind of rude, a little bit condescending. And I think that People see that as criticizing and they really love you and love who you are, but the toxicity that you bring when it's time to start criticizing another, I think is the deception that you are falling into right now, that you're not a critical person because I think you are. But you know why I think you are? It's because you're critical with yourself and you're holding everyone else up to the expectations of you. And you can't even meet those expectations. In solitude, you know there's deception. You have false illusions and scarcity mentality. And I think that um, when you criticize another, when you're all like defensive and criticizing another, I just, yeah, I feel like you just don't really even know who you are at that point. That's not for all of you, of course. And don't come at me because it's not for all of you. If you're here to learn, you're here to learn. And that's looking at your shadow work. If you want to know what shadow work is, please go watch volume four of the Lightworkers uh, Chronicle. 
Eight of Cups walking away. Yeah. I feel like you are going to heal this. You're going to heal this criticizing part of you that people really are shying away from. I think you're going to walk away from this scarcity mentality. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you are. I feel like you're going to come to terms with yourself. And I think you're just going to do it. Um, yeah. Through turmoil, blessings will soon be revealed. So the turmoil, I think, here is probably legal. It's about money. It's about money. It's about how you're making money. It's about how you are opening businesses. It's about all of the abundance that you could ever really want. You can't fathom it, but you're hoping at one time. At one time, you can. You're hoping toxicity money for you is toxic you don't know how to spend your money nope you squander it i think i feel like you just spend big lumps of money here and there and maybe you did that this time and it gets you in a little bit of justice it gets you in a little bit of legal issues i feel like you also have an idea that's going to make you a lot of money but i feel like it, it could be sort of a toxic idea i'm just saying like what i mean a toxic idea is opening my fans you know like to me that's toxic i would never do it that's my my impression of my opinion y'all don't have to take that on but you know that's not something i would ever do i feel like the money is made in toxicity that's what i feel selling something that other people wouldn't sell something unorthodox yeah Juggling too many things at once right now. You need to find time for yourself. You're burning out. So you might be someone who just keeps opening businesses and maybe something legal is going to happen because I think you're going to leave your business in the hands of somebody who doesn't know how to run it and might become toxic. Page of coins. Brand new business. Something brand new. Breathing life into the 3D. Something that begins again. Um, a, a gift. I feel like there is going to be a gift here. What do I think it is? I feel like you're going to have some sort of an enlightenment, but it's going to take a legal issue to get you to clue in. Yep. That's what I think. I think there is going to be some sort of uh, legal issue that's coming up for you in the next couple of weeks, but it's going to wake you up. Yep. Sure is. Yeah, you're finally going to come to a clarity that you need balance and in order to be able to need or to get balance you have to open up a new pardon me a new stream of income for those of you who are business owners i think sometimes you think about money but you don't really do much about the money you maybe think about it you don't like maybe you feel like you don't work enough but i feel like somebody here doesn't isn't really working toward planting that uh, ace of coins. And so I feel like this person is stuck in this wondering stage. I wonder what that will be. I wonder if that will, you know, whatever that will be. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, I'm going to get, get going and cancer. I hope this is something that uh, was helpful to you. Um, if it was, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave me a comment. If you don't get my in my energy, I can't get in yours. If this didn't make sense with you, it's because you're not communicating with me. I'm just saying, y'all, I need to know a little bit about who you are. I need to feel your energy. So do that. Thumbs up, comments, whatever you want to do. That'd be great. I'm going to get out of here, cancer. Thank you so much and happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.